Hello, so we'll be making the assembly now. Um, to start, click new and start a new assembly file. Click OK. <coughs> and in your assembly file, just browse to the um, location where you saved the part and we are going to import um, part 2. Import the part 2 because we want that to be fixed. Um, I should have modeled that part 2 first, but it still doesn't matter. So import part 2 and this this part that's what you want to import and just click OK. And now this is fixed. If you look at this F over here, that's telling you that it's fixed. And which means that everything, I can make everything to it and this stays the same and everything around it moves. But um, the way I model this, I model this the, on the wrong, not wrong, but this part needs to be upside down so that way the inner part is facing up so to fix that all i can do is just um and i'm glad that this happened then i can show you like other ways to fix things so right click on it and click float <coughs> and when you float it now this part is free to move around as you can see it's free to move around i can rotate it so i want actually want it this way so what i can do now is um, open that and I will just mate all the planes to each other. So the front plane I'll make made it to the front plane of the assembly and okay um, click OK then the top plane I'll make made the top plane of the assembly to the top plane of that um, mate and okay and click OK and the right plane of the assembly I'm going to mate it with the right plane of this and mate and now I've actually rotate this part the way I want and if I go into my views everything is the way I want good so that's what we want then the next thing we need to do is just start bringing in our part so insert browse I'll bring in that part one open I'm just going to drop it somewhere over there and um, if you hold the left mouse click and click it you can kind of use that to rotate it to where you want so I want it over there so I'm going to make this circle to that circle make and that will that's going to be a concentric click OK and now we need to move this this part needs to be made needs to be at the center of this so this part needs to be center here center with this part and the best way to do that is click your mate and you want to come down to advance and you want to select this width this width um, mate helps you put this part in the center so the way it works is click the weight the first part the weight selection you want to select the outer edge in there and in this tab selection you want to select this inside edge and as you can see it puts that in the middle of that and that's exactly what you want click ok and click ok we are done with this one and let's insert component again browse to the next one um, bring in part 3 open um, we want to just drop it somewhere over there and kind of rotate it this way and again we want to make this circle so the way I'm the, this is how I like mating stuff I wouldn't say it's the most efficient way but um, maybe in, in another tutorial I would do like a another tutorial where I give you like shortcuts of the best way to quickly select your mate and mate it so I can I could have pressed the S key and oh that's actually the best way so select the S key and it gives you this shortcut which you can add more stuff to it and the mate is right here so I can select that mate and mate it to this circle and click OK um, so again we need to do that same center this in the middle of these two tabs so um, uh, let me tr just use the S key now so we would go to advanced mate um, select uh, we'll select the weight we want to select this outside edge and for that tab we want to select this inside edge 
and now that is in the middle and that's what we want and click OK so we have that and we have this good so the next thing we need to do insert component browse um, part 4 okay and we're just going to drop it right here and we are going to make this circle to that circle and click OK and again the same thing uh, we are going to click OK S mate um, advanced mate the width we want to select the two outer which is this two face and in this tab selection we want to select the two inside which is this two face so that's been placed at the center. Good. And again, we want to go to insert components. So browse, and we want to bring in part five and just drop it somewhere here. And with your part facing this way, like this part facing this way, just rotate this a little bit. And now we want to mate this into that circle. Good. Click OK. And we want to, if you can kind of see, we want to mate this circle and this circle. I mean, because it's going to be concentric. So, so the inner circle and that round part, that's what you want to mate and good and that part is done and the next thing we need to do is click OK insert component and part 6 bring in part 6 and just drop it over there and mate and I'm going to mate that to um, let me I can what I can do is just open this for now so you want to mate this that circle and mate so concentric and just drop it up move it up a little bit and you want to mate this circle with that circle and good so everything is pretty much we have all of our mate in so this is the part that was sent to me that someone asked me to make the tutorial this is what they have in the pack so we had they have this but the problem is if you look now everything is still bleeding into into each other and i don't like living an assembly here i like to constrain it as much as possible and i also noticed something that if i section it um about um let me find like a because i know we use this mid plane so if i section it about this mid plane i want to show you something um as you can see once you move this up and down you can see that this pin is too long and it's bleeding into this part like realistically that's not how you're going to have it in real life so solidworks is very um is the measurement are very close not very close pretty much accurate so stuff like this um i always try to prevent it so what we can do is I worked on this earlier so I kind of know I figured out a way to fix it so what we need to do is we need to um, reduce the diameter of the, we're going to reduce the diameter of this pin we're going to also shorten this pin and then we're also gonna add other mids to constrain this part so everything doesn't bleed into each other so the first thing we're going to do is open this pin so right click on it and click this um, open this little folder thing to open that part so we are going to go through this second bus and we are going to edit that sketch so that sketch make the diameter 0.205 good and again the extrude bus is too long we are going to make it uh, 
good and another thing we are going to do is um, on this top bottom part draw a sketch um, let me go normal too and um, I'm going to draw a circle there and the diameter for that circle is going to be um, 0.22 0.22 and feature extrude and I'm going to extrude it point, point zero 0.05 zero 0.05 and click OK so that's the that's the length that I came up with that works for this part so save it and exit out of it and it's going to ask, ask you, do you want to update it in the assembly? Yes. So now that part has been updated in the assembly. So now the only thing we need to do is con further constrain this part so everything doesn't bleed into each other. So we're going to just figure out all the part where this part makes contact with each other and we're just going to constrain it. For one, I know it makes contact here. Um, this is not supposed to go in there at this point so what we are going to do is um, go to your mate and again we want to do advance and we are going to be using this distance mate so that's what we are going to be using distance mate so click on that and right here we want to make at the point this is like the minimum value this minimum value should always be zero and um, this maximum value is how far I want it to move up and down um, for this we can do 0.75 and click OK and we'll select this face and that face and click OK so now if I move it down as you can see it's touching that part but it's not bleeding into it good that's the first one we want to do the second one we want to do is we know this part is also going to make contact this edge is going to make contact with somewhere in there so again you click on mate um you click this edge and you um not that click mate and we want to go to advance um, this distance and we'll select our face this face and that face and again change, reduce this value to zero and this value let's make this four so that's how far it's going to swing up it's always good to have more value because we are going to constrain everything so don't worry uh, so make it four and click OK and OK so now if I bring this part down as you can see once it touch that edge uh, everything is stopping I don't know if you, you can see it and the, the mate we still have over there too is still doing the same thing it's still getting in contact with that edge and stopping good so there's still more we need to do if you look at this bottom this edge is going to be touching that edge and also there is one more um, this back part right in here it will be touching that face too like this um, lip we have here is going to be touching that face so we need to constrain those so now click mate um, advance mate distance um, we want to make it that is one for this one and change that lower limit to zero so we want to click this face and we want to click this face um, so let me uh, just select that so because I think I have other face selected so I'm going to select this face and this face and it is going to be um, is going to be 1 and 0 and click OK I think I want it in the other direction 
yes in this direction make sure you have this first one selected so so to reverse it so it's like one and zero and click OK and OK let me just try to make sure I did that right so so um, so something went wrong and I'm just going to um, de delete I'm just going to back up a little bit because I think I did something wrong um, we have this too and so the only one we need is um, let's do this one for now and I'll come back to that other one so I just back so pretty much the last made distance made I did delete that one so I'm going to try this package for now because I'm not sure what, I, what I'm doing wrong on that first one so I'm going to select um, advanced mate I'm going to select this edge and this face and select my distance and it is going to be make this one and make this zero and I'm going to click OK see that work I'm pretty sure I did something wrong so now you see when this touches that edge is stuck okay let's try this again um, I'm going to move so I can see what I'm doing so again I want mate um, advanced mate distance um, is that's going to be one and this is going to be zero and I'm going to select this face and I'm going to select um, that face what is going on um, just a second let me try to figure out what's going on so I think I figured it out let's try it again so mate um, I had to pause it because I didn't want to spend too much time trying to figure it out and just wasting your time so me I'm going to select that distance again um, we want to select this face and what other face am I might select and let me delete everything start all over select this face and we want to select this face so now looking at this we need to change this to zero make sure the value is zero degrees in here and change this to value to zero as well so we have zero zero one zero and SOLIDWORKS fixed the alignment made alignment and that's what we want and I'll click OK and click OK there you go so my part is pretty much done everything is all the mates I want in it is there so look uh, let me try to zoom in so you can see so if I move this down that touches that and it pushes this part down and at the point where this touches that it stops and look when I move it up um, let me move it down here so you can see and you want to be looking in here oh, let me rotate it this way yes it's more apparent this way so when I move it up you see at the point where that bottom part touches that it starts pulling it up and I'll pull it up and once it touches that edge it stops so that's what you need to do and I know it's a little bit complicated but once you do it a couple of times you get used to it so this part is done this is the part that was sent to me and everything is done but obviously is some stuff is still missing so other things you can do is just go back and add fillets to all these sharp edges uh, I wouldn't do that in this video but you can just do it just to clean it up add fillet to these sharp edges you can add pin here just to make it more realistic so that this part needs a pin and this top part needs a pin and this also needs a pin so to even do one we can add um, I, I'll show you another thing you can do to add those pins 
um, you you can do add new path so new path right here and it's going to select path file click OK and it's going to ask you to select a plane since we're trying to add a pane over here we can just draw our plane start our plane on this face so it goes into the sketch mode and I'm going to go normal too so all I can just select that edge I'll offset it a little bit offset this edge um, 0 .0, 0 0.005 so 5000 and I'm going to reverse it I'm going to reverse it on the inside so it's like the pin is 5000 to tolerance and I'm just going to click OK so I have my pin I have this sketch and all I just need to do is um, feature um, extrude and I want to extrude it in this direction and I want to select up to surface and I'm going to click this face and click OK exit that and that's like the fastest way to draw a pin and this is a part of yourself so if you right click over here you can rename it as pin and when you save it when you when I go and click save and I save all um, I'm going to save this assembly um, I'm going to save it as um, just name it whatever you want I'll call it pedal save it and it's asking me that there is that that part file and I'm just I'm going to click OK to this so this part file is asking me do I want to save it internally or externally internally means it just stays in the assembly externally means you want to save the part file out as in another file of its own so I will save it um, externally just to show you and it has saved it externally in the folder that all these other parts are located so that's how you create the pin and I'm not going to hold your time up and just create a pin for this from here to there and create a pin for this top part as well and add fillets to this or this sharp edge and you'll be done thank you and I, I know this took forever but I just wanted to make sure that I'm I took my time to explain all the stuff I needed to cover thank you and I'll see you in the next tutorial bye